can also buy our favorite toys from www.pontoonkids.com. Link is in the description. Welcome to the Pontoon Classroom. Science of Cricket. Hey there, fellow cricketer. Today, we are diving deep into the world of cricket signs and signals. These signals are like the secret language of the game, helping players communicate on the field without uttering a word. And guess what? I'm your empire for this adventure. All right, let's start with the out signal. Picture this. If a batsman is out, I raise my hand and point my index finger. Out! Just like that. Now, moving on to the no ball signal. If a bowler bowls a no ball, I extend my arm horizontally. It's a clear sign. When a batsman hits the ball for six runs, a smashing shot. I show the six run signal by raising both my hands. But what if the player hits a four? In that case, I'll wave my hand horizontally, signaling a four. Ah, the white ball signal is next. Imagine the ball is too far from the batsman's reach. I stretch both arms horizontally to signal a white ball. Now, let's put our understanding to a test. The batsman has hit a six. What pose should I do? Correct! That's the sign for six. Looks like we have a white ball. What should we do? Bingo! That's the sign. Seems like the batsman is out. What should I sign? Perfect! That's how you sign out. And with that, this match has ended. I hope you enjoyed this cricket signal adventure. Now go out there, practice these signals and have a fantastic time on the cricket field. Until next time, play fair and play with passion. Welcome to another episode of Punton Classroom. And today, it's a fun, playful session about something we enjoy the most. What is it? Playing! Yes, don't we all love to play games? Sometimes outside and sometimes inside our houses. Do you know there are two types of sports, indoor and outdoor? And I'm sure we all love different indoor and outdoor games. But let's see how much we actually know about our favorite games. All must come together for guessing some interesting names. It's all about different sports. Let's try who knows facts of all sorts. So, let's begin with the first. Can you guess this game of fun? 11 players run across the field. Two batsmen aim for more runs to yield. Hitting the ball hard, bowlers and fielders are caught off guard. Let's see who guesses the popular outdoor sport that has great regard. A. Football B. Basketball C. Volleyball D. Cricket Yes, you are absolutely right. It's cricket that keeps everyone addicted. Now let's check another one. It's a game played in singles or doubles. If you hit right across the net, you won't be in any trouble. Two rackets and a shuttlecock, the right moves and then it's just a cakewalk. Can you guess the sport that can also be played in your building block? A. Tennis B. Badminton C. Table Tennis D. Volleyball Yes, bingo! It's badminton! 
a game that's worth to learn. Let's see who gets the next one. It's a game of two with a checker board. Mindful moves will get you the record. It's all black and white with king, queen, rooks and knights. Can you guess it right? A. Carom B. Karate C. Chess and D. Chinese checkers. Yes, you made the perfect guess. It's none other than the game of chess. The next question is about the very popular game of football. The one who guesses this will be smartest of all. Can you tell? In football, when you kick the ball that touches the opposite team's net, you strike a A. Checkmate B. Shot C. Goal D. Dribble Absolutely right! You are on a roll! When you strike a winning goal. Now can you get the next one right? Let me see who guesses it with all their might. It's a famous indoor game. With a wooden board, round coins and a striker. Win the queen and you score much higher. We rub some powder to have a smooth strike. Can you guess the game that we all like? A. Chess B. Ludo C. Snake and Ladder D. Carom Of course, yes! It is the Carom, one of our favorite family gem. So, if you enjoyed this fun round of quizzing, Keep watching Punton Classroom for many more such trivia sessions. For now, goodbye till we meet again. Bye bye. Hello everyone. Welcome to the Punton Classroom. Today we are dashing into the world of Olympic sports. Get ready to explore many sports that people love. First up, we have track and field. It includes running races like the 100 meters and marathon, jumping events like long jump and high jump, and throwing events like javelin and short put. Next we have got aquatics. In swimming, athletes race in different styles like freestyle and butterfly. Divers jump from boats and do flips in the air. Now let's talk about gymnastics. Athletes perform on bars, beams and floor exercises. They do flips, some results and amazing jumps. Then there are games played on courts like basketball, volleyball, tennis and table tennis. Players pass balls and score points. Let's move on to fighting sports like karate, boxing and wrestling. Athletes show strength and skill by punching, kicking and grappling. Archery and shooting are precision sports. Athletes aim at targets and try to hit them right in the middle. Have you seen equestrian sports? Riders and horses perform together in events like dressage, jumping and eventing. Lastly, team sports like soccer, rugby and field hockey involve teamwork to score goals and win matches. All these amazing sports bring people together from all over the world to celebrate their skills and teamwork. Which was your favorite sport? That's great! Thank you for joining me in learning about these fantastic Olympic sports. Keep playing and having fun like these incredible athletes. Bye-bye!